Welcome to Pseudo Cool. My name is Yogita Sharma. I am a software engineer and you can get to know more about me from the links down below. This is the first video in the series of system design primer course. Today I am going to talk about the course overview. Who is this course meant for? What you can learn from this course? What do you need to know in advance in order to study in this course? And then we are going to talk about what is system, what is design and why system design is needed. So let's get started. Let's talk about the course overview. If you're looking for understanding the basic building blocks of system design, doesn't matter if you're a computer science major or you are looking for changing jobs or you're already working in the industry. If you're looking for an entry to system design, the fundamentals of system design, this course is for you. The course is designed in a way where I will explain all the topics in details with real life examples in the videos followed by quizzes and exercises at the end of every video and then discussing these topics in detail via slack or through the comments at the end of this course you will be able to understand the process of system design in a better way the fundamental concepts and you can go on to learn and build large scale systems let's talk about what is a system a system is a loosely used term for an architecture or collection of software or technology that communicate with each other interact with each other in order to serve a certain set of users with a certain set of requirements for example image sharing system like instagram or texting like whatsapp or streaming systems like netflix or hotstar etc in real life also there are systems like uh, buildings hotels hospitals theaters those are also examples of large scale systems which serve to the needs of certain set of users with a certain set of requirements all the systems be it real world systems or be it computing systems have certain things in common like they are all built up of some components or modules which need to interact with each other and work together in order to fulfill the purpose of the system for example in buildings all the buildings have walls floors ceilings uh, electrical supply water supply etc but different buildings serve different users with different set of requirements similarly in software systems even though basic building components are same but they serve different kind of users with different set of requirements so a system can be defined and built keeping these three factors in mind the user of the systems the requirements of those users and the components that are chosen in order to build that system to serve those users and their requirements now that we understand what a system is built of now let's understand what is design design is a process of understanding the user requirements and selecting the components modules and software technologies how they are going to be intertwined and communicating with each other to actually serve the need of the system that is the basic definition of design and that whole process of selecting those components understanding the needs of the user and the requirements and also factoring in uh, different constraints and concerns that whole process entails design even though the components of systems uh, can be same or the basic building blocks are same the design for two different systems looks very different let's say design of a duplex is going to look very different from design of a skyscraper similarly design of a website that serves a static content or just like one or two videos is going to be very different from a streaming platform like netflix in order to understand and develop this skill of designing certain kind of systems which serve to larger scale and larger users the process of system design comes into the picture now let's talk about why system design is needed as a skill or why system design is such a popular topic the whole process is actually very complicated it needs a lot of experience expertise and knowledge about software technologies etc in order to build successful large scale system in real world actually this is not done by one person but as an engineer one should know about the components the trade offs the problems that have to be solved the concerns uh, where systems can fail how to handle those failures what are the concerns and the constraints that have to be addressed and taken care of while designing a system so what we are going to do here in this course is we are going to pull apart the components of a system understand each component uh, in separation with pros and cons and why it is used where it is used what are the advantages and disadvantages and then combine them together at the end to build a large scale system this is how this course is going to proceed so that was a short introduction to system design and why system design is needed let me know in comments what you liked about the video what you think about the process of system design and also there is a quiz for you and some readings so that you can understand this topic in a better way in the next video i'm going to talk about components of system design till then take care see you in the next video